living in the Bahamas. Yeah, we're going to have a couple of nights still stop on the way out of the Bahamas. It's goodbye to Georgetown. Destination has totally changed. We're now going. Where are we going, boy? Boy, where are we going? We're going neutral. We're going to Miami. Yes, we are. That's US mainland. Hmm. What do you expect? Oh, don't you do that. You wanted to go, didn't you? You wanted to go down to warmer weather. I'm sorry. And isn't it always our plan is there is no plan? Yes, but we're not going in a direction we ever thought we were going. No, we're going back to good old USA. Port Lauderdale to pick up a part that we need so we don't go through that waiting game. We'll spend a little bit of time there. We'll probably just cruise the Florida Keys down to Key West. Yeah. And then you know, all things being equal, we'll cruise to Havana. We're going to see you on the east coast of the US of A. Where do you know where your set is? Yep. USA. You are? Right yep. Now? Yep. Oh my gosh. We're going to pick up the part we need. Cruise down the Florida Keys way. Yeah. Come back into here. See you on the east coast of USA somewhere. Okay, sounds good. You stay hugs safe. Kisses, girl. Be safe. Yeah, hugs and kisses. So after a pleasant night in Rat Cut Key, we will be departing now. See how far we get. Bye bye, Rat Cut. Coming to another anchorage. What's this one called, Reggie? Well, that's High K. Oh, that one's High K, but we're going a bit further, I think. Yeah, something like Gilead or something. And this is where we're going to bunker down for the next couple of days. Couple of days, because there's 50 knot winds forecast. <laughs> yeah. Um, the boats are all starting to take shelter now. Okay bit of company but they're not staying with us Ricky. No. These guys are not coming in either. Oh dear, it's getting windier and windier. It looks such an idyllic spot. Come in everyone. I don't like being here by myself. Up anchored, as nervous as a kid. Why is that Ricky? We're in uh, Exumas and the bottom is never far away from the queue. As you can see, we're having a really lovely little leisurely sail doing four, four and a half knots. Uh, I just wanted to show you uh, Infinity and Intrepid. Intrepid is the tender to Infinity. That's the one you can see the helicopter on the aft deck there. And that's got all the toys on it for that boat. Now, we don't know who owns them because we don't have internet access where we are right now. So um, uh, I'll look it up and uh, I'll get Louie to put some notes in somewhere to let you know who they are. But we're in the Exumas National Park, Marine Park, and you can see super yachts over there that in any other day would be beautiful, but they're dwarfed by these two. And we're heading up to there, uh, which is uh, Elbow Key, I think, is uh, where we're headed up there. Um, for the night. Another few hours to go. This is your friendly reporter Rick 
reporting on a number of super yachts that are in this area of Bahamas up near Staniel Cay. Here's another one. See the tender being driven behind them? They're towing a tender and there's another tender behind them. Good to see that uh, power gives way to sail, eh? cruise ship where is it Disney dream cruise ship and over over there there's four four cruise ships in the harbor already so we're just sailing along 5.2 knots staying away from the Disney dream oh, I can see Mickey Mouse on the funnels Carnival Liberty is the one that we've got to watch out for let's just hope he ducks in behind us even though power gives way to sail, gross mass or gross tonnage wins every day. The bigger the boat, the more we give way.